Okay, lipids is another group of bioorganic molecules that we're going to discuss. So it is second to carbohydrates. Okay, uh, lipid is an organic compound that could be found in living organism. It is insoluble, so it could not be dissolved in water and any other polar solvents. However, it is soluble to non-polar solvents. Okay. The structure is very diverse, so iba-iba sila ng structure. Merong in ester form, may amides, alcohols. Some are acyclic, some are cyclic, and some are polycyclic. So, hindi katulad ni carbohydrates na polyhydroxy as a polyhydroxy ketone and polyhydroxy aldehyde. For lipids, very diverse ang kanilang structure. Ang example dito ay fats, biological wax, steroids, glyceroposphalipid, sphingoposphalipid, and sphingoglycolipid. We have classifications of lipids based on the functional or based on the biochemical functions. Number one, as we have five biochemical functions that we discussed natin for this chapter. And these are, ano yung mga function nila? It could act as energy storage lipid. And that particular lipid is known as triacylglycerol. We have uh, acting as membrane lipid. And those are phospholipid, sphingo, sphingoglycolipid, and cholesterol. Then we also have emulsification lipids in the form of bile acid. Messenger lipids in the form of steroid hormones and eicosanoids. Then we also have protective coating lipids in the form of our biological waxes. So, iisa-isahin natin ito for this chapter. Okay? We also have classification based on the saponification process that it could, that it could undergo. Okay? So, if... Uh, saponification is the hydrolysis reaction of that particular lipid with a, a basic solution. So if they will undergo saponification, they are known to be as the saponifiable lipids. And these are triacylglycerol, phospholipid, sphingoglycolipid, and biological waxes. However, those lipids that will not undergo saponification reaction... They are classified as non-saponifiable lipids, and those are cholesterol, steroid hormones, bile acid, and eicosanoids. Okay, so before we proceed to those classifications of lipids according to function, let us first discuss fatty acids because this is one of the building blocks for triacylglycerol. Okay, fatty acid are naturally occurring monocarboxylic acid. So, recall lang natin, yung carboxylic acid will have, uh, will have a general formula of R, C, double bond, O, OH. Okay? Where in R represents the series of carbon atom and the COOH is actually the functional group for all carboxylic acid. And this group is known to be the carboxyl group. Okay? So, fatty acid will follow this general formula for monocarboxylic acid. Okay? It is the building block of a lipid, particularly triacylglycerol. And they could be found in energy storage lipid kasi sabi natin kanina, those acting as energy storage lipids are the triacylglycerol or TAG. And, of course, they could also be found in membrane lipids. Okay. So, ano yung structure ng monocarboxylic acid? Ganito. So, we have series of carbon atoms and the functional group will be the C double bond OOH. Okay. So, still, we're going to follow the four bond requirement for, for all carbon atoms and one bond requirement only for hydrogen. So, the C double bond O, again, is the... Functional group. At usually, siya yung carbon number 1. Dito lang siya palagi. Hindi siya pwedeng ma-attach sa gitna kasi nga it should satisfy the 4-bond requirement. 
So hanggang dito lang talaga siya sa ending o dito lang siya sa dulo. Okay? Now, the characteristics of this fatty acid that are present in lipids, they are usually unbranched. Kasi sabi nga niya dito, uh, so this example dito sa ating structure, uh, unbranched siya, walang, walang nagbrabranch out na carbon dito. Okay, walang ganun. Still, only straight chain lang siya. So, dire-diretso lang daw ng series of carbon atom. And the number, number of carbon atoms should be even. So, even dapat sa, so ilan ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, this is example is 16 carbon atom fatty acid. So, dapat daw even lang siya. Hindi pwedeng odd. If that is in a naturally occurring lipid. Now, there should also be double bond. Pwede rin daw, hindi lang, hindi lang limited to be a saturated carbon atom for this, carboxy, for this fatty acid. Rather, pwede din daw mag-exist ang double bond to give a cis configuration. And these fatty acids are rarely found free in nature. So, hindi sila usually nakapag-iisa. Ang mga ito ay usually naka-attach sa iba pang mga other molecules or structures. Now, for the classification of the fatty acid, we have types according to the number of carbon atom. They could be classified as long chain fatty acid if the number of carbon atom is from 12 to 26 or more. Okay? They are of medium chain fatty acid if it only contains 8 to 10 and they are classified to be short chain fatty acid if they are only having 4 to 6 carbon atom. We also have classification according to the carbon to carbon double bond. Okay? Now, if there is no double bond and all the carbon to carbon bonds are single, just like this one, it is classified as saturated fatty acid or SFA. So, pag dito titignan natin, we have how many carbon atoms? Usually, we start with this terminal carbon atom to be carbon number 1. And that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So, this is hexa, the, hexa the canoic acid or with a common name of palmitic acid. Usually, hindi siya binibigay lang, hindi lang limited na maibigay ang structure like this expanded form. Okay? Usually, uh, paminsan, nakasulat din siya sa condensed na parang ganito, that 14 atom represents uh, CH2 na inulit 14 times. So, that is counted to be 14, and this one is pang 15, and this one is 16. So, this one is the condensed structure for the first structure. And, of course, hindi lang din siya limited na maging ganyan. Ang structure niya, pwede rin din daw na line structure siya. So, this carbon number 1 is the COOH is number 1. And, dito sa mga intersections na to, we have carbon atoms. So, this is carbon number 2. So, that is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that, these three structures are actually all the same. Okay, so this refers to the structure of the fatty acid, palmitic acid, having 16 carbon atom with no double bond. So this is classified as the saturated fatty acid because of the presence of all single Bonds. We also have monounsaturated fatty acid, and this from coming from the root word mono, then unsaturated. So there's now the presence of one carbon to carbon double bond. An example of this is the oleic acid. So this is it. Ilan ba to? So this is carbon number one. We have seven there. So that's eight, nine, ten. And then we have another 7, so the 17. And then, so therefore, oleic acid has 18 carbon atoms. 
And it has, yun, ito daw, meron siyang double bun. Pero isa lang. Even for a fact na isa lang yung double bun niya, it will still be classified as unsaturated fatty acid. And because there's only one, then therefore that is monounsaturated fatty acid. Okay? So this is still the structure of, or the line structure of oleic acid. So this is carbon 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the double bond is between nine carbon 9 and number 10. This is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 carbon atoms for oleic acid with one double bond. Now we also have classification polyunsaturated fatty acid. So this type of fatty acid contains two or more carbon to carbon double bond. Example is linoleic acid. So, this has, ito, poly and saturated na siya kasi tatlo na yung double bond niya. Remember, for that to be classified as poly and saturated, it should have two or more double bond. Okay? Now, we, we have numerical uh, notations or shorthand system for this fatty acid. Meron tayong numerical designation into which... Gumagamit tayo ng number of carbon atom, then this um, colon, separated by a colon, and then we have number of double bonds. So, for this fatty acid, it has 20, daw, 20 carbon atoms. So, the first, car first number represents the carbon atom. Ayan, yan. Okay. And then the second number represents ulitin natin the first number the first number represents the number of carbon atom so that's the number of carbon atom and the second number represents the number of double bond okay so for this case sabi niya 20 paano naging 20 this is carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, that 20 represents the number of carbon atom. Bakit 5? Kasi nga, meron tayong limang double bond. So, ulitin natin. The first number represents the number of carbon atom. And then, the second number represents the number of double bond. So, if we don't have double bond, like for the... For palmitic acid, so that sabi natin to kanina, this is 16. So therefore, palmitic acid, which is a saturated fatty acid, will be having okay, a numerical shorthand designation to be 16, da, uh, 16 colon 0. The 16 represents carbon number, the carbon, the number of carbon atom, and the 0 represents the double bond. Since there's no double bond there, then th that would be zero. Okay? For oleic acid, the numerical designation for this one is 18, 1. 18 carbon atoms and 1 double bond. Okay? Now, another numerical designation or numerical description is the use of the delta. The Greek capital letter delta. Okay, so for this example, it is 18,3 because we have 18 carbon atoms and we have designation to be delta raised to 9,12,15. Ano bang ibig sabihin nitong delta na to? That delta represents the position of the double bond with reference to COOH to be carbon number 1. So paano ito? If carbon atom number 1 is the COOH, the double bond is present between 9 and 10. And then another double bond is present between 12 and 13. And the last double bond is between 15 and 16. So if we're going to have three double bonds there, kasi sabi natin dito kanina may 
18.3. So, may tatlong double bond. Dapat dito sa delta designation natin, meron din tayong ibibigay na tatlong number. Ano yung tatlong number na yun? Yun yung lowest number dun sa, yung lower number dun sa, pag, dun sa carbon atom na nagbe-bear ng double bond. So, kanina, sabi natin, it is between 9 and 10. So, ang ire-reflect lang natin ay 9. Kasi automatic na yung susunod kay 9 ay kasama niya dun sa pag pag-hold nung double bond. So, hindi na natin kailangang ilagay yung number 10 kasi automatic na na between 9 and 10, andun si double bond. So, pag naglagay tayo ng 12 dyan, ibig sabihin, between 12 and the succeeding number 13 will bear the double bond. And then, the 15, ibig sabihin 15 and 16. So, ulitin natin, for the delta designation, we are referring to the position of the double bond and we are only reflecting the lower number that bears the double bond and if we have three double bonds, then therefore we should give also three uh, positions for this double bond. Okay? And we also have another one is the use of small, a uh, Greek small letter omega. Daman. So for omega, still this represents the, the Position of the double bond. However, ang reference na natin dito ay yung terminal, yung pinakadulo dito. Hindi na si COOA siyang reference natin. Ulitin natin, si, si delta, ang reference natin, ang pagbilang, nag-start tayo dito kay COOH. Pero pagdating kay omega, ang start natin ay dun sa opposite ng COOH. So dito tayo mag-start. At... Ang paggamit ng omega, isa lang ang yung unang unang double bond lang ang nilalagyan natin. Ang ang ire-reflect natin. So for this case, so that would be omega 6. So this is carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is carbon number 6. Okay? So ulitin natin Kapag delta, ang reference natin ay si COOH. Tapos, isusulat natin lahat ng position ng double bond. Pagdating kay omega, ang reference natin ay yung opposite end ng COOH, hindi kay COOH. At isa lang, usually, ang nilalagay nating number dito sa omega at yun yung first encountered double bond. Okay, so these are the examples of selected fatty acid. We have saturated fatty acid, namely lauric acid, myristic, palmitic, stearic, and arachidic acid. So we have 12-0, 14-0, 16-0, 18-0, -0, and 20-0 respectively. Okay, we have mono and saturated fatty acid in the form of palmitoleic acid and oleic acid having 16-1 and 18-1 for its numerical description. Delta 9 kay palmitoleic acid because it's the ninth carbon. And also for oleic acid, delta 9, yan yung 9 niya. With reference to COOH, this is carbon number 1. Okay? But, for palmitoleic, it is omega-7 because this is with reference to this terminal end as carbon number 1. And that is carbon number 7. And oleic acid is omega-9. Okay? Now, for polyunsaturated fatty acids, we have linoleic, linolenic, arachidonic, uh, EPA or ICO, Acosa pentaenoic acid and DHA, which is docosa hexaenoic acid. Okay, these have 18, 18, 2, 18, 3 for linolenic, 24 for arachidonic, 25 for Acosa pentaenoic acid, and 22, 6 for docosa hexaenoic acid. As you could see, for linoleic acid, it is delta 9. And 12. This is the 9 carbon atom and this is the 12 carbon atom. However, it is only omega 6. Okay? Omega 6 siya. So, ulitin natin ha. Um, isa lang number ang nilalagay natin sa omega. And that is the first encountered double bond here with reference to the opposite carbon atom of the COOH. Okay? So, isa lang. 
isa lang ang number na nilalagay sa omega. Okay? At usually, ito yung, yung first encountered double bond lang ang nilalagyan. Properties of fatty acid, they are, of course, water. Uh, they don't, uh, they could not be dissolved in water such that they decreases, the solubility decreases as the carbon chain length increases. So, habang humahaba yan, mas lalong hindi siya matidissolve sa water. And the melting point increases as the carbon length chain increases also. So, if you're going to compare fatty acids with 8 carbon atom versus with 20 carbon atoms, so, syempre, yung may 20 carbon atoms ang may mataas daw na melting point. Okay? However, melting point decreases as the degree of saturation increases. So, kapag tumat, if you're going to compare saturated fatty acid versus poly and saturated fatty acid mas bumababa daw yung melting point niya bumababa yung melting point kapag tumataas yung dami nung double bond sa fatty acid na yon okay